good day viewers we are giving f of minus x equals 1 divided by f of x i want to find f of x and we have to note that this is a functional equation that is not fully determined and there are many functions that satisfy f of minus x equals 1 divided by f of x and i will show you different functions that satisfy this and the function that do not satisfy this so let's get into it and consider the solution from here suppose if i let if i assume f of x to be equals one and based on these conditions so we are going to see that if you look for f of minus x as well, it's equals 1 because it's just a constant. So no x will plug in these values. So f of x is 1. Definitely f of minus x is also 1. And if you check for 1 divided by f of x, so which is 1 divided by 1 equals 1. So showing that f of minus x equals 1 over f of x as f of uh, minus x equals 1 over f of x, everything equals 1. And this is true. So which means for this case, we must note that f of x will not be equals 0. So if f of x equals not, not equals to 0, so that is a valid condition we are going to consider from here. Then after this, there are still other functions that we need to test for. But before that, from this constant, we just check. So suppose I cross multiplied. If I cross multiply, we are going to have f of minus x multiplied by f of x. So we say this equals 1. So in a general form of this, we are going to see that if I let f of x to be equal c, a constant then we are going to obtain f of 1 over f of x which is 1 divided by c and if we come back here we are going to also see that f of minus x is also c which is a constant as well so multiply this together so we are going to have f of minus x multiplied by f of x, which is equals 1. f of minus x is c multiplied by c equals 1. So therefore, we have 6 squared equals 1. And by 6 squared equals to 1, then c equals plus or minus 1. So if c equals plus or minus 1, then... So we have c equals plus or minus 1. So therefore, our f of x will be equals 1 and uh, f of minus x. So f of x will be also be equals minus 1. So let's consider this first. Though this is a constant solution. So we still have some other solutions as well. And before that, so I want to be showing you different families of solution that we are going to be getting from here. So let's start with the exponential functions. So for the first one, if you consider the exponential functions, exponential functions. So in these exponential functions, assuming that if I let f of x to be equals to e to the power of x. So this is just an assumption. Then we see that f of minus x will be equals e raised to the power of minus x. So if you look for 1 divided by f of x, so this becomes 1 divided by e raised to the power x. And Multiplying f of x and f of minus x together, this must be equals 1. 
So by multiplying this, we have f of x multiplied by f of minus x, which is e power x multiplied by e raised to power minus x, and everything equals 1. And similarly, actually, so for every f of minus x, so this will be equals 1 over f of x. And f of minus x is given as e raised to power minus x multiplied equals 1 over f of x is e raised to power x, which everything equals e raised to power minus x. So this old and it is true for every value that we plug in on x. And other forms of exponent is if you have f of x, suppose I have it as a raised to power of x. Provided that the a here is greater than 0. So a must not be equal to 0. So that's only when this is true. As if you have f of minus x, so this will be equals a raised to power minus x. So multiplying this together, we are going to see that f of minus x will be equals a raised to power minus x equals 1 divided by a raised to power x. And 1 over a raised to power x is the same thing as a raised to power minus x. So this is also true. So this is true for every form of exponent function. So in the case of where we have our f of x to be equals e raised to power of, let's say, x squared plus x. So it's also true for where we have e raised to power of sine x. It's true for where we have e raised to power of cos x and any form of exponent that we might have so let's test for another families of the functions let's say we want to test for the odd functions so for the odd functions suppose i let if f of x is greater than zero so for all x all we are going to get here is if say I let f of x to be equal to e raised to the power of k x, and for f of minus x, so we are going to have e raised to the power of minus k x, and again, if you have one divided by f of x, so this equals e raised to the power of minus k of x. Or you can still put this as k of x, k of x. Then we can see that if we let these two equals to each other, so we are going to get e raised to the power of k of minus x equals e raised to the power of minus k of x. So if e cancelled e, we have k of minus x equals minus k of x. So this shows that this function is odd. And does this work for any other functions? Like, let's say we have f of x to be equals x squared, a quadratic function. So this does not work for this. Why? So because if you have f of minus x, so this equals, this is going to give us minus x squared. And this is also equals x squared, right? But what of 1 over f of x? So 1 over f of x, it gives us 1 divided by x raised to the power of 2. So these two contradict each other because we have x squared here and we have x raised to the power of minus 2. So this does not work. And again, for every trigonometric function, so this does not work as well. So which means the general solutions for this are f of x will be equals 1, f of x equals minus 1. And again, f of x equals a raised to the power x if a is greater than 0. So these are the only functions that satisfy this. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.